In this technique, we'll be looking at the adductor group. So we're looking at adductor brevis, longus, and magnus. Now, again, depending where you're palpating, if it's superficially in this midline here, then the culprit would be gracilis. So through your examination and your palpation, you will locate that painful area and you will hold and gain the painful measurement from the patient out of 10. Once you've found this, we now need to find the position of ease. Now, remember the hip does multitude of movements, so we, you may need to make sure that you are incorporating all of these. So you can see I'm already supporting the lower limb with my chest here. We can come through and add some flexion, some external rotation, internal rotation, you may add some adduction or abduction. This all depends on where that position of ease comes to. Once you have found that position, you can relax your palpation, make this tolerable for the patient and hold them here. Then the patient will control their breathing and you're gonna hold this position for around 90 seconds to two minutes. Remember, your position of ease may be different from patient to patient. Once you have found that, and the patient is held there for 90 seconds to two minutes, you come back to the neutral position nice and slowly. And let the patient rest here for a few seconds. From here, we can then come back, support the patient, control their breathing, and you can add some nice mobilizations to the hip joint, moving through all of these movements. It may be a good idea to add some muscle energy techniques where you add some isometric contraction. But again, you may want to work above the area into the lumbar spine and below the area into the knee and the foot and ankle, all trying to promote quality and quantity 